Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress tutorial, we're looking at WordPress, how to duplicate a page. So I'm going to show you four different methods on how to duplicate a page using WordPress. Now, the first method will work on any WordPress site. This is the Yoast Duplicate plugin, and the next three methods all use the Elementor page builder. So there are two free Elementor add-on packages, Essential Add-ons and Premium Add-ons. These can both do it very well. And there's also a save template method in Elementor. So let's get started and have a look at each of these. Okay, first method in our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, we're gonna search for duplicate. The plugin we want to use is Yoast Duplicate Post. Let's go ahead and install that one. And then we click activate. Okay, once that's active, let's go to pages. And now under each page, we'll have a clone option here when you hover. So let's go ahead and try cloning this sample page. Click clone. Now you'll see we've got sample page and we also have a copy of the sample page that's in draft. So let's go ahead and edit that one. All we wanna do here is change our title. So I'll call that tutorials. And you'll notice the permalink also changed to tutorials as well. So you'll find that at the website domain slash tutorials now. So you can name that whatever you like. Let's go ahead and click publish. There we go. Now back in our list of pages, we'll see that we have a tutorials page and the sample page that we copied. So we can view both of them. We'll see that they're exactly the same. So that's basically all there is to it. They're exactly the same page except for the title and the link. Now for those of us who like using Elementor, there are two good add-on packages, Essential Add-ons and Premium Add-ons. They do almost exactly the same thing as the previous plugin. I've installed and activated both of these so you can see how those work. Let's go back to pages and all pages. And if we hover over a page, we can see there's PA duplicate and EA duplicate. So essential add-ons has its own duplicator and premium add-ons has its own duplicator. They do exactly the same thing as the previous clone plugin that we used before. So no need to go through that again, exactly the same functionality. The only thing with these two are that for Elementor, you get a lot of other features as well. So it's a big bundle. It's a lot heavier than using a simple little clone plugin. So if you don't need all the features, just use the Yoast plugin. But if you use Elementor, using one of these is a pretty handy way to add features to Elementor. Now for the final method, I'll show you how to do this in Elementor. So let's open one of these pages. Let's go edit with Elementor on this services page. So here we are editing this services page in Elementor. Now we can actually save this whole page as a template. So we can go down to this bottom option here, save as template. So here we go. We can just call this one services and click save. And this will save it onto our page library. So here we go, we've got services as a page library option now. So let's try using this new template. So let's add a new page. I might call this page uh, skills and click publish. And now I'm gonna edit this with Elementor. So let's wait for Elementor to load up. Now let's go to our template icon there and we'll go to my templates and let's get our services template there. Let's insert that one. Click yes. There we go. Our services page has been duplicated here. We can click update. So back on our list of pages, we've got our services page here. We've also got our skills page here. So let's open those up and have a look. Let's view that one and view that one. So here's our services page and here's our new skills page. The only thing here is it's not using the transparent header. So we can actually do that by editing the page. And let's scroll down here and find our header, transparent header. We want to enable that one and let's click update. So this is with the Astra theme. Your theme might be slightly different, but they're all very similar in terms of choosing the header option. And now back on our skills page, we have our transparent header. So that's pretty much all done. So duplicating pages and posts, it's an essential skill to have. If you want to learn more important WordPress skills, just click this video here. I've got a very, very detailed tutorial, complete website built from scratch. So check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.